Note the what, quote unquote. There's no who in the title. I don't know who, but the what I can answer. Hi, my name's Alex. I've argued enough for a lifetime. If you'd like to know more about nature, how we find out about it, and how all of this relates to being kind in our daily lives, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing. I can't promise that you'll find answers in single videos, but it's all there in the channel as a whole. Check out, for example, how a scientist comes about in a video called 42. The link's in the overlay cards and in the description. So, what's a mad scientist? It's a trope. It's overdone, too, in all its variations. Let's see. There's the disaster warning but ignored told you so scientist who gets all uppity in the beginning of the disaster movie. There's the non-compromising magneto type, often with a desire for world domination attached to the character. There's the slightly less ambitious Doc Brown type, meddling with stuff he himself doesn't quite understand. There's Dr. Hannibal Lecter, of course, and probably many more that I can't even conceive of too. There's lots of variation and still, you know, none of them really feel different. They're all mad. Oh, and yes, there's the Frankenstein. How could I forget Frankenstein? That's the quintessential mad scientist. What's Frankenstein? Frankenstein's not the monster. He's a bioengineer. Here, I said it. Think about it, though. Applying science, the method, is really just asking the right question, thinking about how to best answer it, then getting engineers and technicians to build an instrument, or whole experimental or observational setups, for you. I'm a former atmospheric scientist. I never even saw a screwdriver. I stood beside a couple of sounding rockets, though. I was called a rocket scientist. Well, there are no rocket scientists, but rocket engineers. The moment you build something, or in fact do, anything. You're an engineer or a technician. Frankenstein's a bioengineer. Magneto's whatever he is, and the disaster foreteller is probably a scientist who left academia to do governmental work. <laughs> I'll grant you that one. The others, though, they take the results of science and again actually do something with them. They're engineers. They're technicians, administrators, generals. That's what they are. Now, of course, if you have all the ideas, you'll want to know how the experiment will work and you'll involve yourself. After all, I ended up knowing enough to be able to teach about rocket technology. You also have stuff like the Manhattan Project. It was full of scientists, but they were there to build a weapon of mass destruction. No questions asked, no new discoveries in nature. They developed a technology. They were engineers architects and managers the moment they participated in that project. And I became a teacher, not a scientist, the moment I entered that classroom talking rocket technology. So don't get me wrong, I'm not chastising anybody who doesn't know the difference. I, I still called myself a scientist in front of those kids. And the US government didn't know the difference either. And engineering as a profession wasn't as strong then as it is today. So. It's okay, but in the future just keep in mind what science is supposed to be, alright?